What's up, you guys? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is part two of my Books, Beauty, and Stuff 2015 awards. This is going to be called Collaboration and Anthologies. Basically, this part of the playlist is basically like different collabs, different um, authors um, getting us together to write an anthology and things like that. And I just have to say, it's not too many um, books in this category. It's only probably like going to be like two or three that I really was impressed with within the last... Um, you know, a year or so. But other than that, let's get started. The first book I want to talk about is definitely by um, Michelle Grant, Letitia Lovely, and Sydney Rex called Crush. This book came out in 2011, and it has different stories by each Letitia Lovely, Michelle Grant, and um, Sydney Rex. And one of the stories by Michelle Grant is called White Mocha. Um, Wanted You by Letitia Lovely. And From One Lover to Another. Um, by Sydney Rocks. Each of the, this is actually a good collaboration because it gets each of the writing styles. And to me, I feel as though, especially if you haven't read any of the writer's previous work, or if you read the writer's previous work before and you want to get reintroduced to it, this is definitely a good book to do. I like romance. Um, I'm a freak. I like erotica too. So, you know, the freak and the erotic side of me definitely appreciate this book as well. Um, the book actually came out in 2011, if I'm not sure. Kensington had published this um, about, what's this, 16, about four, um, five years ago. But I definitely just got it last year and I, I completely enjoyed it. So definitely get a, get your copy if you want to read something about him or you want to get introduced to something about him again. Okay. The next books I definitely want to discuss real quick is Nice Playground by my, um, it was a group of poets, and one of them is my man, James Gordon, a.k.a. GPA, um, otherwise known as the greatest poet ever, well, greatest poet alive, I'm sorry, greatest poet ever alive, but I like him, he's good, um, Cotton Campbell, Red Snapper, Pharaoh Wordsmith, Felicia, Fabulous Feet, Eastley, Look, Erotica, yes, Gentleman So, and Becca, um, Wolford. I like different poets coming together, and you know, unfortunately, it's not a huge market in poetry books, but I definitely like the eroticism of this one. You know, they definitely all come together, write erotic poetry, um, sex, seduction, you know, things like that, and I feel as though, it is, a, I feel as though, I'm glad they came together in a book, because you know, you'll see erotic poetry online, Different, different um, parts of the internet, different sites and stuff. But to come together in a book, it's to me, it's not highly unusual, and it's not highly unorthodox. But it definitely is, definitely, um, definitely out of the box. I definitely appreciate this book. Definitely had me appreciating poetry more, erotic poetry more, especially to me if you hear in a, especially if you listen to audio, which I never read listen to audio, but if you listen to like. Um, erotic poetry on audio, especially if you have a nice, sexy woman's voice or a fine man with a deep, pussy weight and dick hardened voice from each of them, it's like you really definitely appreciate it more. And I definitely appreciated this book. I definitely enjoy different poetry in this book. So this is definitely one definitely got an award for the Books, Beauty, and Stuff um, collaboration and anthology. Um, you may not be able to see it as much. My camera, the color on it is kind of wild. My camera, it's time to get a new baby. But I'm totally, definitely, I definitely enjoyed this book. I'm going to link all the link bars below for the book so you guys can um, get them as well myself. So definitely take a look, get it, give these books a chance. And yeah, that's all I got to say. My final book in the collabor um in the collaboration anthology is Hidden Out the Park by my girl Alison Hobbs and my other girl Karen E. Cano Miller. Bitch. Let me tell y'all something about this book. Karen and Allison could write their asses off in different in different genres. First of all, it's about a woman named um Cheryl Blayton. Who marries a man named um, Randall Austin, aka Randy? He's one of them little country hicks that um, he played in one of the minor leagues, but they finally noticed his game and he's finally playing for a major league team. Then you know their marriage is good, you know, or that she's trying to um, butter him up, make him over and stuff. Then enters this little 
Slutty Skeezer, Sexy Sanchez. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, that broad body is tight. Her pussy is tight. Her third game may be on point. Now, Sexy, I'm going to say this. This bra off the chain, first of all, because she gets these men, gets on them and be riding them. And I'm like, yes, girl, I'm here for it. But then, I, then of course, she tries to break up a marriage because she sees potential on Randy. Man, cat fights between Cheryl and Sexy are on point. The um, bitchiness and the um, shade is so real in this book. Um, the drama. And it is so many juicy secrets in this book. And one thing I like about Allison and Karen, they each can write out of their comfort zone very, um, very comfortably. What I mean is like, Karen, she's more like drama. Like, not say drama, drama. What I mean is like, she can write dramatic scenes very well. And you be like, what the hell? Like, bitch, what's wrong? Like, no, this bitch didn't. And then Allison can write some nasty erotic scenes too. I'm like, no, the half of nigga suck his thing away. Or, no, she didn't. Oh, my goodness. No, he didn't. But, at first, when I read the book, I didn't know who was Cheryl. I didn't know who was sexy. But, when I, I'm thinking one is the other, and then I think about it for a minute, I'm like, these two beautiful, crazy ladies. What the hell? They got me good. But, I definitely have to say this was definitely one of my favorite books from last year yes and i have read it over and over and over again because it's off the chain um i definitely highly recommend you guys get that and also if you haven't read any of um allison's previous works or karen's previous works this this collaboration will probably get a good introduction to both their writing and their work because karen is the essence best-selling author of um set and doll um out of um, I'm telling, and using what you got in another book, Passing. Alice is a national bestseller author of um, 2324 novels such as Double Dipping, um, Brick, um, Pandora's Box, um, The Secrets of Silk, um, Taming Madam M, and also um, No Boundaries. And it's much more on the list, but that's just a few right now. I have to say, these this was not easy to do. When it comes to collaboration and anthologies, because it was so many I read this year, but these three definitely had stuck out for me. And I truly appreciate each one of them letting me get a peek into their world. I truly appreciate letting me get a peek on what their thoughts are, too. Anyway, for the review of um, Hitting Out the Park, I'm sorry, my brain got a brain fart. I'm getting ready to go to work shortly. I'm going to um, link that link bar below as well, too. And I'm going to. Um, Definitely, um, I definitely have to say you guys did an excellent job on this. I definitely have to say bravo and bravo to you ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, today on my eyes, I did something very soft today because I, my makeup brushes, are, I'm cleaning them. I got to get some more brushes. But I did, today I put on my um, lid, the um, Paint Pot Constructions from MAC. MAC Upward Lash Line, y'all already know how I rock with that one. And my um, eyeliner, um, Prunella. Basically from MAC. On my cheeks today, I have Sweetest Cocoa Blush. Um, and on my lips, I have the Plush Blast um, Wet, Wild, and Wonderful. Anyway, thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for checking out um, Books, Beauty, and Stuff. If you have not seen part one of my um, video, Social Justice, I'm going to link that link that one in the link bar below so you guys can check that out as well. Thank you guys for um, supporting and watching. And you guys have a wonderful day and wonderful weekend. Bye.